I'm going to go up to here. Um, yeah, so this is perfectly fine. I did log in. I'm going to press escape. So this is the basic interface uh, that allows me to work with uh, Zen server at the command line. And I'm logged on as root on this particular host. Now I need to gain access to uh, Zen Center so I can do GUI based configuration. And in order to access Zen Center, I need to go to the IP address of any of the hosts that I have installed, like this 102. And it says Zen Center CD image or Zen Center installer. I'm going to do Zen Center installer. I'm going to run this. I'm going to run this. And I don't need this anymore. And I'm going to click Next, click Next, click Install. And it's going to install the Zen Center client. There it is. I'm going to click on the Start menu. And here is Citrix Zen Center. I'm going to place this. I'm going to run this over here. Here's Citrix Zen Center. Very easy interface here. And I'm not going to worry about checking anything. Let's see services. And here's Zen Center right here. And it's, first thing I need to do is I need to add a server. Right now, I don't have a server. So I'm going to add my server. Um, I'm going to provide it with you know, this particular box is not on the domain. So I'm going to go to the Windows System 32 drivers etc directory and I'm going to open up the host file and in this host file since this machine is not connected to the domain I'm going to put in the IP address 102 and I'm going to say ZX host 02 class edu ZX host 02 192.168.1.92 ZX host ZX XS Host01, class edu, access host01. Save this, exit, and I'm going to try and pick, ping access host01. Yep. And host02. Yep. Great. I'm going to add host01, class edu, uh, root user ID, and the password of password. So it's attempting to connect to it, it's synchronizing it, and it says I'm going to save. Uh, and restore server connection on startup. I'm not going to worry about a master password, but here's the thing. Master password will uh, protect my credentials. And what's going to happen is that if you supply a master password, which you would want to do in production, it will ask you for the master password every time you log on, which is really what you want to do. I'm not going to do it for myself because I'm demonstrating, and in my case, it will get in my way. So I'm just going to click OK here. And here it is adding it. I'm going to add a new server. That's going to be host02. Put in the password. Synchronize with it. There it is. I've got two servers. Isn't that wonderful? Here's my Zen Center. And it's, I can learn about using Zen Center. I can add a server, which I did. I can upgrade a Zen server this way, or I can try this Zen desktop uh, virtualization application. I've got my servers right here. Here's XS host01 and XS host02, my two boxes. I'm going to go in general, and I've got some properties associated with this, as you can see. I've got memory that I can look at, storage that I can look at, networking, and such. Okay. So you can see everything that I've got on this box, performance, users that I may have. Now, here's the thing. See this join domain? XS host01 and XS host02 are not joined to the domain. I'm going to click. The name of my domain is class edu. My username that I'm going to use to join this to the domain. So it is enabling Active Directory authentication in this particular instance. Ta-da! Look at that. So I'm on the domain. Server XS host01 belongs to class edu. I'm going to do the same thing with host02. Go to users, go to join domain, and put in the password. 
and let it join the domain. It's enabling AD authentication, 